Hello and welcome back to another episode of this Let's Play. I've said that same line every episode since Heaven's... Not Heaven's Word, since A Realm Reborn, and I want to kill myself, really. Um, I need to really, really work on my intros because they're all boring. But let's talk to Serena. You're not only to contend with Sadu, but Magni too? Such a fierce battle that must have been, yet here you stand, triumphant. Having passed such a test, they could not well deny you their allegiance. The mole will make no such demands. Weak though we are, we will gladly stand with you. The step is our home, and we will defend it with all our being. You have my heartfelt thanks. Of all the tribes of the step, there is none I would rather have at my side. Aww. God's willing, many more will rally to our cause. I will send, wor uh, I will send you word when we have answers from all the tribes. I cannot thank you enough, Serena. None of this would have been possible without you. Aww. She's such a sweetie. We have the requisite consent. It is time to put Nama's power to use. If the Aether flows as planned, all that remains is to have the Ironworks engineers do their work at the ruins. Come, let us return to the house of the Crooked Coin. Can you teleport me there, please? Okay, I see. Bye, Serena! You know, during that uh, battle with Magni, when I, when I was playing a, as Yustola, I probably could have done a lot better. But you know, whatever. You learn from your mistakes. Still here. I shall begin at once. You may wish to step back. All right. Did it work? It did. Ether may flow freely to the burn once more. Ooh. Awesome. I do not pretend to understand what you did, Yustola, but you did it. Thanks to you and Atelius, of course, we have taken a momentous step towards securing our defenses. Now, as much as I believe arrest is in order, we should probably make case back to the Enclave.
Agreed. The others may have already returned from their missions, and I would I would know how things stand. As would I. Without further ado, then. Can you please teleport me? Please? <laughs> I guess not. It's not as easy as that, I suppose. That's fine. Sally say she's okay baby oh god judging by your triumphant expressions I take it all went well in the Azim step indeed we have secured a suitable source of energy for the barrier good Tatar and I have commissioned Garland Ironworks to ensure that the field generators function as they should a team of engineers stand ready to set out for the burn at a moment's notice. You need only say the word. I thank you for engaging their services on our behalf. I don't know how to say that word, but the minu minutiae? The minutiae of the arrangement you may leave to me. Which just leaves a small matter of our alliance. So, Yugiri and Hakuro, how fares you with our neighbors? My lord, all of the factions we approached are in agreement that the Empire poses a threat, and many responded positively to a talk of alliance. From Hingashi and Sui no Sato, however, we received outright rejections. The former will not break its treaty with the Empire, and the latter will not involve itself in conflict. Just as, I, uh, just as we expected, then. Well, there is not to be done about it. We must focus on the rest. To each of the nations that were amenable to an alliance, I will personally send a missive. And once I have attended to that, I believe we have uh, we will have done everything we can to fortify Doma's defenses, for the time being at least. All of which rem uh, all of which means I may leave for the meeting in Alamigo with a lighter heart. Yugiri Hakuro, if you would be so kind as to hold the fort in my absence. My friends, we could not have achieved so much in so little time without your help. For that, I give you my heartfelt thanks. Till the meeting, then. Hmm? I took the liberty of asking Thanker to attend as well. He should have arrived in the Alamegan Quarter by now. Then let us not keep him waiting, shall we? Ah, yes. Oh, boy. There probably is an easier way or a, a less expensive way. But I honestly don't know that way, so... Stola has told me all, and I duly, uh, I duly told Urianje and Kral. Kral in particular was concerned about Alphano, but I, I assured her that everything, that everything that can be done is being done. She agreed to continue with her own task for the time being, on the condition that I contact her the moment there is any development. So that leaves for us, uh, sorry, that leaves four of us to attend the council. Arnvold is here to assist with security. Incidentally, though, the poor lad seems altogether too distracted for the task. Another one missing Alphano, I expect. Aww. 
But, um, ah, but it's almost time. As soon as you're ready, present yourself to the guardsmen at the palace entrance. I shan't be far behind. Alright. Ah, the signs of the seventh dawn. Welcome to Alamigo. The Alliance leaders have already arrived. May I show you inside the meeting chamber? Several cutscenes! Yeet! Hopefully these are all voiced. So I don't have to talk a lot. Mistress Lise, Commander Aldin, it gives me great pleasure to formally welcome the city-state of Alamigo to the Eorzean Alliance. The pleasure is ours, Your Grace. I know I speak for all Alamegans when I say that we are glad of this chance to stand with our comrades of the Alliance. And we, for our part, are glad indeed to be able to welcome friends both old and new. Lord Hien of Dolma, at your service. Pray, accept my heartfelt thanks for your generous invitation. It's Amrick. I love Amrick so much, he's so pretty. Nay, tis we who must thank you for journeying so far. And would be remiss of me not to acknowledge the part the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have played in bringing all of us together. In times of great unrest, you and yours have been our constant companions, without whom we would not be here. With apologies to Lord Heen and Mistress Alize, it occurs to me that we have not gathered in this way since that fateful day in Uldar. The day I lost my arm, and my freedom. As I lay in my cell, never did I dream that I would one day be given the chance to represent my homeland at this council. I would not even be alive had you not plucked me from the jaws of death. You, Yugiri, and Alfino. Would that the lad could be with us. I too owe my presence here to Alfino, in so many ways. Until such time as he returns, I mean to carry on his good work as best I can. Come, friends. Let us leave the past in the past and turn our eyes to the future. My Lord Hian, pray tell us how things stand in the East. Having heard the rumors of dissent in Garlemald, I dared to dream of a peaceable solution. Hmm. The Empire will not so easily change its ways. If the Garleans have a mind to take back Doma and Alamigo, we'll be hard-pressed to stop them, even with the might of Six Nations. But while we lack the strength to fight the tide, a course may yet present itself, if we read the winds aright. The winds suggest but one course to me. One which leads from the sea unto the river and thence to the source of all our woes. The Asians. Indeed. All here have felt their blighted touch. It was the bringers of chaos who nurtured the Archbishop's tyrannical ambitions. They who bestowed upon him the secrets of summoning as they have so many others before and since. And while they remain, we shall know no peace. Our objective is clear. The question is how to achieve it. That our enemy parades about in Xenos's skin poses problems in itself, but ere we get to them, how are we to infiltrate the Empire and get close enough to strike? While I see the wisdom in targeting the Essians, an assassination attempt on Garlean soil would do little to aid our cause, even were it to succeed. It's time we used our enemy's preferred tactic, subterfuge. You have an idea? Speak your mind, Master Thancred. 
None here know the enemy better than the Scions, and you may have best of all. Whatever it is you propose, we will give it fair hearing. On that you have my word. Very well, Admiral. My proposal is thus. We dispatch the Shinobi to Imperial territory. There, they sow the rumor that the Crown Prince perished in the Battle for Alamigo, and that the man parading around is in fact a corpse inhabited by a servant of darkness. Well, it does have the ring of truth about it. And were the Galleons to learn that their future ruler is a puppet, the Empire would be shaken to the core. But, at the risk of sounding stupid, would they actually believe such an unlikely story? I didn't. Ordinarily not. But prior to his miraculous recovery, rumors of Xenos' death had already begun to circulate around the Empire. Ultimately, however, what the masses believe is not our chief concern. Our true objective is to create an opening for rival factions within Garlemald to exploit. Just as a war of succession erupted in the wake of Empress Solus's death. A war which raged until but recently, plunging the Imperial House into disarray as nephew and uncle grappled for the throne. It is no coincidence that one of Varus's first acts as Emperor was to name Xenos heir apparent, family feuds being so tiresome when armies are involved. Not all welcomed his choice of successor, however. There is no shortage of individuals who aspire to the throne, who would jump at any chance to seize power. The news that Xenos is not only dead, but a puppet to diabolical forces, would be too enticing to ignore. The Empire would not be quick to recover from a second war of succession. I am no stranger to infiltrating Imperial territory. With a team of operatives gathered from among the Alliance's finest, the plan should have a reasonable chance of success. Dorma already has Shinobi in place throughout the provinces. We stand ready to act, and act we must. What say you all? I'm for Master Thankry's proposal. We shine a light upon the Asian and test the Empire's unity. Twas his plot that scuttled Doma's negotiations, was it not? Why then, if we can eliminate him, there may yet be a chance for peace. Let us wage this war of subterfuge, that we may one day lay down our arms. Gods know we never will while the Asians remain. Oh! Oh, what in the world? Die this is away. new! Sorrow. What? What is happening? Who? Who? What? 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 This is new! Usually we don't get what? This is not what? What is happening? Heidelin? History must be changed. This isn't Heidelin. Who? I I uh, I don't understand. Ahead looms a calamity. Ahead looms light. Expunging all form and life. We heard about this before. Light. Twin dooms only you can forestall. What? Only you. We heard about light taking What's the over. Matter? Uh. What? Huh? I. Everyone? There's, there's a voice. I mean, what? Spies in our midst. Nay, I sense no such presence. What? What is happening? Let expanse contract. Eon become instant. Through wide the gates that we may pass. What? Holy fuck. That's my fuck. That's 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 the one word. One F word. You guys all experienced that, right? 
Is it over? Thankred! Master Thankred! Thankred! Is he okay? Offend. What happened? Bear him to a private chamber. Have every healer make ready. What? 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 No! Swiftly! What happened to him? Don't tell me he's dead! Don't you fucking tell me! Master Thancred remains in slumber. Though his vital signs appear stable, he's unresponsive. Okay. Okay, he's he, he's not he's not dead dead right like he he's just oh my fucking god what could have done this and and why just him and not the others I'm afraid we could not identify the cause, my lady. Our examinations revealed no wounds nor the presence of any poisonous substances. Gods, that only makes it worse. You're to let us know the moment there's any change. All right. Thank you for coming. Knowing Thancred, he would apologize for being otherwise engaged at so crucial a juncture. In gifting us a course of action, Thancred sowed the seed of all that is to follow. We have but to nurture it as best we can. To him, I would say, rest easy, that he may wake to enjoy the fruits of our labors. Now, the matter of the mysterious voice must not be forgotten. Will you tell me exactly what happened? It was like a normal echo. It, like, well, not normal, but it, it was just like an echo, but like, not, you know? Like, it, ooh, that wasn't Heidelin. That wasn't Heidelin that spoke to me. Alize and I heard a voice in the moments before Thancred collapsed. It was accompanied by a severe headache, as if something were clutching at our minds. Did you experience the same thing? Yeah. So, in between the voice and the pain, you felt as if you were somewhere else entirely? Basically. Your testimony confirms my suspicion. That which you experienced was, I believe, your soul being plucked from your flesh. Called. What? Called. I myself examined Thancred. Reach out as I may. I could not sense in him the spark of life that is his soul. So he's dead? That Thancred alone was stricken so is likely due to his heightened sensitivity to the effects of ether. A consequence of his prior possession by the Asian the Hebrea. Uh. The owner of the voice, whoever it may be, reached out to you, called your souls, and in so doing, caused you and yours such pain. But if that's true, where exactly are we being called to? I know not. Yet one thing is plain. Whoever waits for you on the other side is possessed of a power unlike any I have ever known. Forgive us, Lise, but may we leave Thancred in your care for a time? As if you had to ask. I may not be a scion anymore, but I'm no less a friend. Don't worry. I'll see to it that Thancred's well looked after. Just focus on solving this mystery, all right? Thank you, Lise. As the Elder Seedseer says, Tis no ordinary individual we are dealing with. Nor can we discount the possibility of Asian involvement. 
Whoever or whatever is behind this, the sooner we find out, the better. I'm screaming! What was that? That wasn't like any echo we've ever had. Like. And why thank Greg? Come on, dude! That's my boy! I just tried to call Uriyanje on his Link Pearl. He didn't respond, but I dare to hope that he possesses some knowledge we do not. Ah, Uriyanje! Something happened during the meeting. Thancred's collapse. A disembodied voice suddenly started. What? But that's. We should talk about this in person. Alright. We'll meet you there. That was Uriyanje. He heard the voice too. Huh. In Thanolin? Hmm. As we alone were afflicted at the meeting, I had my suspicions, but if the voice also spoke to Rian J, there can be no uh, there can be little doubt. The scions were targeted specifically. By whom and to what end is the question? One to which we must find an answer with all possible haste. Definitely, oh my god. Prelude in Violet. Uriyanje agreed to meet us at the Rising Stones. If any of the others heard the voice, we'll soon find out. God. Good luck. I should get back to the meeting with the Elder Seeds here, but if there's anything I can do, anything at all, you must let me know. Alright? Promise me. Right, let's be on our way. God, thank God, okay. It's not gonna make us teleport there. But Jesus Christ. Uriange! God, it's good to see you. Aw. Would that our meeting were under happier circumstances. I judged the voice sufficient cause for concern even before you sent word of its effect on our comrade. You heard it too, then? Aye. And all but certainly at the selfsame instant. Alas, pained as I was, I could make little sense of what few words did then reach mine ears. Who do you think is responsible? Could this be the Asians doing? That I cannot say. Not when so little is known. Ere I indulge in speculation, I would examine Thancred with mine own eyes. To Alamigo then, without further delay. One other thing. During my visit to the Far East, I observed a strange phenomenon. Thou referrest, I presume, to the localized reduction in etheric density. Well, that spares me the trouble of an explanation. Yes, I noted precisely that at two apparently unconnected locations. I take it the phenomenon is not limited to the Far East. Indeed not. Of late, our agents charged with surveilling the beast tribes have spoken of little else. In every corner of the realm, they tell of places in which the ether hath grown thin. Naturally, my suspicions first turn to primal activity, but the areas thus affected betray no evidence of summoning. I must confess to being quite perplexed. If the same phenomenon is being observed in multiple locations on opposite sides of the world, we may safely discount regional factors. Needless to say, this warrants further investigation. Indeed, I shall make it my task to... Rianger? 
The voice. It calleth to me once more. Riange? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You stole it? I hear it too. Oh my god! Oh god! Only you. Only you. What? <sighs> no! Please, eh? Stola! Real J! Throw wide the gates. What gates? Stopped? Is everyone good? No, no, this can't be happening! What? No! You gotta be kidding me! Yishtola, Arianje, open your eyes! No, both of them? Come open on! Your eyes, I beg you! Say something! Anything! Not again. Please, not again. Wait! Wait, 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 wait. If this is happening to all the silence, what about Alphino? What about Alphino? Oh my god! What is happening?! Why is this happening to everyone?! Hey, yeah, disembodied voice. If, if if you're saying only you, why are you taking everyone but me? What? Leave them out of this. What? What? I'm screaming. I'm sorry for screaming. I'm. I really am. I. But this is my raw emotion. I'm not gonna hide. Like my emotions. This is a let's play for a reason. This is for me to document my experience. Because I'm never gonna experience these emotions again. So I'm I'm sorry for screaming and yelling and you know, whatever. Forgive me, that was an unseemly display. Don't worry about it, Alize. It happened before your very eyes, my lady. None here would have behaved any differently. We have borne the two of them to a private chamber, but tell me, is it true that Master Thancred languishes in a, in a like state in Alamigo? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Though, given the circumstances, it would seem best to observe them together. I will send word to Lise that he should be brought here. Take heart, my lady. The world is full of scholars and knowledgeable folks of every persuasion. Someone out there is bound to know what ails our comrades and how it may be cured. Thus will we rouse them, no matter what. Oh my god. That we will, Hori. That we will. But first things first, our comrades will have questions. May I ask uh, that you explain the situation to them? I must attend a private matter. <laughs> oh, I promised I'd visit someone in Limsilominsa. He's been waiting. Uh, he's been waiting at Maelstrom Command for a while now. You know, you should come along too. I think he'd be glad to see you. Uh, who? Oh my god, I'm so emotional. Like, if you're. S <laughs> Come on, dude. Disembodied voice. I don't care who you are. Asian. Like, Hydaelyn. I don't care. Zodiac. I don't care. But if, you if you're saying only you, you know, like, only you can prevent wildfires, you know, just take me and not them. Like, please leave them out of this. They're my friends. They're my family. They're all I have. Please don't hurt them and take them away from me. <laughs> That's, that's basically how Atelios is feeling right now. 
Um, wow, what, what a, an emotional ride. So, wow, now we're down to like four scions. Three have gone. I wonder, who, I wonder who's going to be taken next. I have a bad feeling about Alphino, though. I really have a bad feeling that he's going to be one of the ones that are taken. Because we don't know where he is. We haven't seen him. We can't see him. So I'm worried about him. Well, we'll see in the next episode what happens. Take care. Be safe.